I would like to show you how you can tell two different stories of the same interior by using different warmth uh, for the uh, light sources. Now in ArchLine you have the option to change the uh, color temperature for the light sources and if you just use the default uh, white light sources you will end up having an image like for example this but changing the color temperature of each and every light sources based on the mood that you would like to paint you will end up having a completely different story with a different uh, light condition uh, in the same uh, interior so let me show you how you can achieve a render like this now for this you need to have this interior and all you need to do is to control the light sources. Now I have a few lamps here, actually one on the ceiling and one here at the side and all I have the other light source is actually the sun uh, which was set up uh, correctly uh, for the mood of this uh, interior. So what I will do I just select this lamp and uh, whenever you are selecting any of those appearing light bulbs those are actually the light sources. So whenever you select any of those, you have the option to use a color temperature. Now by default, this is not turned on. So this means the color temperature is the default white uh, tone. But if you turn this back on uh, and then you just go here and check the light source uh, color temperature, you have this value option here. Now this value option will bring up a dialog where you can actually either type the color temperature that you would like to use or just simply dial up this uh, slider up or down wherever you would like to have the uh, light source warmth or uh, coldness uh, set up by this slider. This little uh, figure, this little image helps understanding uh, the warmth uh, and the coldness of the light sources. Uh, the default white is around 6500 uh, so if you are keeping the value around here you will have just a regular white color you can even uh, use the, um, the, the the colder tone or you can even use a, a warmer tone I think I used uh, something around um, 3000 when I rendered that image so I will keep it here and this is all you need to do to achieve the, uh, the best result that you, you, you wanted to have with this uh, image. Now, it's very important to understand that I'm not changing the color of the uh, light source. The color is here. You can use, uh, I don't know, a, a different color instead of white and having a colder version of that color or a warmer version of that color, changing the color temperature, the light color temperature here. So that is two different options. The color is one option and the light uh, color temperature is another option that you can set up. So if you set up the uh, light color temperature accordingly, uh, according to your needs, uh, and you start rendering, you all, all you need to do is just to go here and select either the real-time rendering or the standalone rendering and just start rendering the image. Uh, you will end up uh, with an image that is different in tone. So now instead of the originally cold image, which was uh, this, I ended up having a completely warm uh, interior uh, and all I had to do is to select all the light sources individually and then change their color temperature or just simply enabling the option because I believe the default is 3000 which is quite a warm tone uh, as you can see on the image. So this easily you can tell two different stories uh, stories of the, the, the same interior either by using cold light sources or warmer version of the same light sources.